This is a father and son video uh, encompassing Mexico, Spain, Venezuela, Ecuador, and Colombia. Uh, and the events of building a park and building a little cafe for the kids and raising kids uh, into daycares and going from there. Now graduated from Seattle U. This is Wild West Cowboy Daniel Aaron DeWitt. DeWitt, a college student at Seattle University, and we lived in Ellensburg for quite some odd years. We went to school. These are some of the places that were in Ellensburg then. They're not exactly there now, but they were great places uh, for kids to grow up and enjoy a community friendship with other people. Birthday parties are always fun, especially at the pizza parlor where they had pool tables and uh, some pretty cool kids' games that everyone enjoyed. But our main project began creating a tribute center to Pope John Paul so now I'm at Christ Church New Zealand back in 1986. And so we built this in the summer, father son, for a little bit of help. Stack of straw bales, cover with cement, had the uh, concert park for uh, Toastmasters public speaking and music events and having people over and having a good time and going to the rodeo and all those things, uh, things in the parade every year for 10 years or something. Uh, magnificent or something audacious in the parade, uh, having lots of fun out in the country with four wheelers and all sorts of uh, events and a nice home to grow up in for the kids. I guess you could blame it on Pope John Paul, who I spent an afternoon with in New Zealand back in 86, for some sort of later calling that kind of called me out of uh, my residential situation uh, to Spain and Venezuela, Ecuador, Colombia, on I guess what I call as a mission, uh, his mission, uh, to spread his word that I seem to have absorbed uh, sitting with him for two hours in uh, Christchurch. And so that is what this video is beginning to develop uh, historically, looking back uh, on my work with families and people in those three countries, the church in Venezuela, and what's happening there now to see if there's any application for uh, his, uh, his insight <laughs> upon humanity, uh, Pope John Paul. And uh, my son now, uh, graduating from college, uh, speaks Mandarin, and maybe he could pick up on that word and carry it to China as an ambassador to the Chinese. Uh, my son Dan, uh, we attended a lot of churches uh, in Ellensburg and also in Yakima because uh, I was brought up in the Greek Orthodox Church in Dallas, which gave me a passport, you might say, to all the denominations. And so I attended basically all the churches, I, could, I think every church in Dallas that I knew of going every Sunday and also Yakima. And uh, actually was uh, used my Greek uh, beginnings as a passport to all these denominations and then uh, kind of worked my way through to uh, two years studies with the Mormons uh, to understand their context of America early and was baptized with the bishop and then that was, I considered that my MA and then went on to get my PhD, so to speak, symbolically, uh, from the Archbishop of Cuenca, Ecuador, uh, Archbishop Cisneros. And uh, that brings me back to here now. What does all this mean? I had a website in Venezuela we made. Uh, it was like uh, the 96 Thesis of Martin Luther pinned on the uh, doors of Wittenberg, uh, saying, hey, uh, what's going on in this Bolivar Revolution? Uh, it's not taking your country in the right direction. You know, how can you become like a Donald Trump person and employ good economics and good democratic principles in your country instead of totalitarian regimes? A times of that or enough. It's time to find a new beginning. So here is the algorithm from Pope John Paul and Cardinal Ratzinger put together with a message of a new beginning.